Alright, so in today's Shindo Life video, we're actually going to be going from a total noob in Shindo Life to a pro. And this is going to be quite the journey because, you know, we're going to be going from level 1 to 1000. We're going to be just getting a ton of OP and cool stuff. Uh, and, you know, you guys will be there with me, you know, just helping me, grinding with me and just, you know, experiencing the journey. So anyways, we're actually going to have to do a few things to become a pro in Shindle. So first of all, you know, we're going to just have to make a new account because of course we're going to want to start off as a noob. So that's step one. For step two, we're actually going to have to head over to the edit section in Shindle Life and of course just, you know, change up our look a little because we can't be looking like a noob if we, you know, want to become a pro. But also, more importantly, we're actually going to have to, you know, spin and roll for some good bloodlines because, you know, if you don't have any good bloodlines in Shindle Life, you will not make it far. And third step, of course, it's going to be still related to Bloodlands. We're going to have to actually level up our Bloodlands to the max level and also get our player to the max level. So, you know, get to level 1000. And if this video actually does good, I'll probably make a part two and, you know, also rank up all the way to S rank. So, anyways, those are the three steps I've actually thought of so far. Actually, never mind. I just thought of something, guys, as I was speaking. Uh, basically, what about a step four? So, the step four could be, uh, you know, to actually hop for a scroll or something. And if you guys don't know what I mean, let's actually try hopping, like server hopping, you know, for a scroll. It could be a tailed beast. It could be, you know, fate spirit, any mode. Mostly, I'm just looking for modes, but I'll also, you know, hop for some sub abilities too, like the Ross and Shuriken or some spirit bombs, aka Ross Sengons, just all that good stuff though. Anyways, uh, I think that's enough steps for now. If you guys want me to do some other stuff, comment below and I will definitely do a part two if the video does well. And if you guys want to know, like, what do you mean by well, right? Basically, we're going to need to get at least 5,000 likes on this video. Actually, you know what? 5,000, that might be a little too much, but I feel like you guys could also, you know, maybe hit that like goal because, you know, Team Oscope, you guys are pretty awesome. Basically, get this video to 3,000 likes, guys. And if the video gets to 3,000 likes, I will definitely do a part two for this Noob to Pro series. And I might also do some other Noob to Pro stuff, like maybe Noob to Sasuke or, you know, going from Noob to Naruto and Shindler. So, you know, hit that like button real quick if you haven't already. And also, subscribe to become a part of Team Oscope. And, you know, just subscribe. It really does help in a ton. I'm trying to get to a 100k subs soon. So, anyways, yeah. That's probably enough steps for now. Let's just get right into the video. We are on the Roblox website, ready to make a brand new account for the Snoop Pro video. Though, anyways, you go. Let's just uh, fill in our birthday. So I'm just gonna make like a random birthday, like 1925, because if we're gonna be a pro, we gotta be wise. So yeah, I guess uh, you know old people are kind of wise though. There we go. Just a random birthday, and now. The username so i kind of want this username to resonate with you guys because you know you guys are going to be going on this journey and just experiencing everything alongside me so let's make it like team also i feel like that would uh you know work and that would be uh you know fitting though anyways here we go and that username is taken of course though what about we do team old club is the best yeah team old club is the best this would work because you know you guys really are the best and that actually worked and now let's just you know fill in the password Alright, so I filled in the password and let's just, you know, pick the gender, so male, because, you know, I'm a male. And now, let's just sign up and make this account. Okay, so I just joined Shindo on this brand new account. Let's actually head over to the edit section because, you know, this is the first step, I believe. And here we go, let's just, you know, change our look up a little. I'm just going to put this on 2 times speed till I get a look that I like. Alright, so instead of 2 times speed, I just cut to when I, had, you know, finished my character. The news. Uh, I really wanted to, you know, add a beard on this guy, but, you know, Thing is, I'm sure a lot of you guys might know this, especially the, you know, OG Shindo Life players, but basically, when you, you know, play Shindo for the first time, there's actually like a little age system, and you actually have to play for a while if you actually want to be able to equip beards. So anyways, here we go, we're looking pretty nice. Now, let's actually try rolling for some bloodlines, but before we do that, let's actually, you know, just redeem some codes so that we get a bunch of spins. So now let's actually start spinning.
Alright, so so far we've actually spun off a bunch of spins and still no good well done. So I'm actually gonna rejoin the game to see if I can, you know, change our luck. Here we are, new server. Hopefully we got some good luck and some good bloodline. So here we go. Let's just continue spinning. No way, bro. This was literally our second or third. I forgot like what spin this is, but just like I'm pretty sure this is like our fourth or third spin after joining this new server. But bro, we just got ghost Korashi. So I'm definitely gonna keep this guy. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if we should keep him because the thing is, um, you know, it's pretty rare, it's pretty good. But the thing is, it's not really that good for grinding bosses. So I feel like we might have to roll this guy. So I'm not sure. Should we roll it? Should we not? Let's see. Um, hmm. I might just flip a coin. Actually, I don't have a coin here by me though. Uh, this is actually a tough choice. I'm not sure if I should flip this. I'm not flip this. Uh, spin it off. Uh, let's see. I mean, if I spin it off, then I can definitely roll a lot faster and, you know, potentially get, get some bloodlines that are just a lot better than it. So, I feel like we should just spin it off and it's gonna hurt though. Here we go. And we spun it off. Okay, so this is actually our 80 spin rarity. Let's see what we get. And we're getting please be good please be good oh, we actually got doke so i guess that's decent but now i'm gonna spin it off okay so i am really tired we just spun off like i don't know 700 spins in total actually no it's probably more like 500 in total but anyways uh we actually got pika senko and our second slot crystal but don't worry we will be getting a good bloodline on our second slot later in the video as well because now we've got some rel coins from those codes and you know we can probably buy a bloodline with rel coins and also later in the video we're like we're probably going to be doing some quests for spins so you know we can get some spins and you know continue spinning later on though for now let's actually finally enter the game and let's go over to ember okay so this is already looking scary i just entered a public server and people are already just random killing but we're actually under level 300 so you know fortunately they won't be able to attack us so what i'm actually gonna try to do is just quickly do like a few green scroll quests so that i can you know level up my element and my bloodline to get some moves because at the moment we are pretty weak i mean i'm probably gonna start off by uh you know putting my stat points into taijutsu and health because I'm pretty sure that should help us out a ton so here we go let's just use this uh yeah, let's just do this quest real quick so It's actually gonna be kind of hard okay these guys only have 120 hp this should be uh you know pretty easy and okay never mind we only do like 20 damage per m1 which is actually terrible though there we go he's dead just like that so i mean this isn't too hard but we gotta kind of kill him uh, you know one by one so it's kind of um tedious and this might take a little bit though here we go air combo nope that did zero damage for some odd reason there we go we destroyed that guy and get him with a heavy and perfect few m1s and wait what it's not dead okay let's actually uh get away please don't kill me bro okay here, here. okay no 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 we might actually die here bro relax 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 okay uh yep there and okay it's there 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 it's dead and let's see how much xp will we get okay only 15 levels what okay i'm gonna be honest i might just auto click on a log till i'm like uh level 100 so Actually, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do, so I'll just cut to when I'm level 100. Alright, so I actually just finished auto-clicking on a vlog. It's been, like, a little bit, though. Anyways, we are actually level 256. I'm pretty sure I left it on for a little too long, though, like, once in a while, like, once every, uh, 10 like minutes, I, was I would just, uh, you know, check my stat points and add some stat points to Taijutsu, because if you guys don't know, the more stat points you have in Taijutsu, the more XP you get every single time you basically punch a log so anyways these are my stats right now we've actually got a ton of points guys and our bloodline it's level 311 and our um explosion by the way yep explosion accidentally uh well not accidentally but basically um i completed the wall walk one time quest and basically i got a spin from it then you know i spun off my crystal and we got explosion so anyways we've, uh, we've actually gotten a few more quests finished up so you know let's just real quick do these and okay there are actually a ton of quests we've actually completed okay so i just finished claiming all of those quests there were actually a few of them that we did complete 
and okay we've got 84,000 Ryo, 11 spins and we can actually uh yeah we can definitely unlock this move but unfortunately we need 500k Ryo we're like uh you know uh around 400k off though we can definitely get our first explosion move wait what oh i need some more chi i'm guessing yep so let's just add like a thousand into chi and here 1000 added into chi 1000 into nin as well and we've got you know what let's just add like 500 into hp because we're probably gonna need to be you know a little tanky and okay first of all i really do want to just you know skip the other steps and just get to uh level 1000 so first of all let's just get to level 1000 because that will you know help us complete the rest of the steps just a lot quicker and okay explosion it takes up a lot of my chakra well I don't even have that much chakra in the first place, but you know what I mean, right? And here, this is actually kind of hard. I accidentally, uh, you know, triggered both of them. And here, a few M1s. Nope. Okay, this is actually, uh, yeah, I might actually die here. This is not looking good. Wait, I almost forgot. I should have my uh, fire moves unlocked, shouldn't I, right? Yup, perfect. Let's just use these. And nice, dude. Okay. Oh, I need chi level 1680. Uh, okay. Yeah, we definitely can't get that yet, though. Here we go. Let's just equip these guys. And here, let's try this out, man. And boom, fireball jutsu, bro. That was actually kind of sick. And yeah, they would never really uh, finish them off. Yo, let's just charge. And another fire jutsu, never mind. Of course, they're gonna interrupt my hand signs. And okay, that is uh, the way to go. And okay, both of them just died from our second move. So our second move definitely does, you know, a little more damage than the rest. So that's pretty good. And okay, we got a pretty decent amount of XP, but not enough. So I'm actually gonna go just grind a few. Uh, of uh, these you know, green quest for a little bit then i'll see you guys then okay guys so i actually got really lucky and some kind people in this public server like i never thought that people in public servers were you know kind i thought they just you know random killed people but these guys actually invited me to their squad i just asked for help in the chat they invited me and now we're actually doing boss quests so you know, let's see how much xp we're gonna be getting from these guys i wish i had used that xp code before we started grinding because that would just you know help out a ton though you know what we're gonna contribute as well we can't let the dude die uh medical cell fuel and okay we need six more levels till we can buy though it does cost actually a quite a bit of re ryo or real or whatever you guys want to call it and did we go inside wait what is that oh it's scroll did we get it did we get it please 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 tell me we got it and yes sir bro let's go we actually got scroll all right so i've actually been grinding with some people from my discord server and you know these guys are a part of team all Club, so big shout out to all these guys and we actually got a scroll during this boss fight and so far we've gotten both of the scrolls for the amaterasu ross and shurikens look this man we've gotten both of them but now all we need is uh ryo and level requirements to get them and also i rolled mud unfortunately with the spins i got from the quest okay so we have been grinding for a while now and I'm level 574 though by the way here's the important thing i actually got my pika single bloodlines mode now so let's actually you know try it out because i actually haven't tested this bloodlines mode out but like you know i've used it on my main account but not on this account and uh, okay cotton yep we'll get these uh nice iframe dashes and look at the stat bonuses look at my hp and stuff bro this is looking nice like our stats just went up like by a ton look at this man it's a nice stats you know and now let's take a look at c-spec and boom okay that's some nice damage not gonna lie that is some good damage uh considering that you know my stats are still pretty low and look at the q-spec okay q-spec nice damage to it i'm actually kind of liking this mode it looks pretty sick and you know i got this uh custom sword for my m1 it's pretty cool and yeah i'll see you guys when we're like level 700 uh, 700 i think or 600 we'll just see okay so it's been a bit and we're level 689 and i've actually gotten 500k ryo so i can get my first move and let's just unlock it here we go equip it on our v slot and hopefully this is you know pretty op and good for pvp and bosses because you know we need to become a pro and it should also be good for tail of beasts because if it is that would be you know just really helpful because we still need to get a tail of beasts and stuff so yeah here we go let's try it out and Ooh, that's some nice damage even though our stats are quite low at the moment and it tps us to what it hit so that's a pretty sick move and i'll probably cut to when i'm like level 800 that's my guess so yeah see you guys then okay guys so this is kind of insane 
So we just killed the Sotri Akuma boss, I believe this is though. It actually dropped both of the scrolls at once, dude. So we didn't actually have the companion, so let's just get it real quick. And boom, there we go. Let's check it out and see how much Ryo it costs to unlock, dude. And okay, a million Ryo, that's not too bad. All right, guys, so we're level 700 now. And the thing is, I actually took a little break from recording this whole noob to pro thing. So anyways, during that break, Rel Games actually added a new update, and now I don't actually have to hop for Tail of Beasts. I can just, you know, fight it using this scroll, and there's like a 5% chance that it'll actually drop the 9 tailed scroll. So, so, I've been thinking, what should we do with all of our Rel coins? So, what I'm actually going to do is, let's actually buy a fighting style. So, I'm actually going to get the MMA fighting style, because, you know, I'm going to get those extra M1s, and it's pretty good for PvP. So, here we go, dude, and we got it. Let's just equip it, and it's looking pretty nice. Anyways, now let's actually grind this tail beast till we get it to drop. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so this is actually a little crazy. We're actually fighting a tail beast dude. And C spec to finish it off, maybe. Let's go. Okay, bruh. Our C spec never finished off. What about Q spec? Come on. And okay. Did it drop the scroll though? That's all I want to know. Where's the scroll? Okay. No nine tail scroll. So finally got a decent bloodline. By the way, I actually got a bunch of rel coins from those codes as well. Uh, the bloodline is actually Shiver Akuma, and I know the moves. They're pretty good for PvP, right? But for grinding and farming, they're not that good. But here's the thing. The mode is actually really good because we're gonna be getting a samurai spirit slash a susanu and you know that'll just help us become a pro so yeah let's just keep leveling up all right guys so i just unlocked shiver akuma's like first stage for its mode and this z spec should actually help us out a ton let me just show you guys it boom so it's just like obito's uh little thing that he is so basically i can just you know travel inside my kamui dimension and we are level 999 one level away from the max level which is level 1000 and this is probably gonna be the last boss slash quest there we go we are level 1000 and we still need to uh you know level up our shiver akuma because uh yeah we need its mode i don't really care about the moves i just really want the mode for it because you know it's a susanu and it, uh that just makes it pro so anyways we have gotten ourselves two good bloodlines you know highly leveled up got a ton of ryo to unlock their moves here we go this is real quick unlock both their moves okay so we actually found the isu tail spirit and big shout out to xx random guy and he's actually sleepy aka i'm pretty sure yeah he's a moderator from my discord server so you know shout out to him because he's the one who found it anyways i'm just thank this guy big shout out uh shout out to him because you know he found it and here we go let's get the scroll and boom we unlock the isu tail spirit let's just check it out real quick where is it uh okay here it is okay so we're actually gonna need 1 million ryo so probably gonna go uh you know just grind till i have a million then we'll unlock this dude all right so i'm just grinding for a million ryo right now and i just want to see how much stronger we've gotten like at the start we could barely even fight these guys but now look at us man literally going off on a tail of these dude like taking almost no damage at all and we still haven't even used up all of our skill points so you know we definitely have gotten stronger and uh yeah that's definitely pretty obvious you know from how we're uh just destroying this tailed beast i mean i get that we're you know we got we do have some help like lotus we got a bunch of awesome people helping us out but still we have gotten stronger and that is definitely a good thing and here it's almost dead imagine this thing actually drops the scroll that'd actually be uh insane though thing is we already did get a tailed beast so it wouldn't really matter and there we go it's dead all right guys so we have a million ryo so it's time to unlock our tailed beast here we go unlock and let's equip it let's try it out enter its mode and I'm probably gonna level this up a little bit so yeah and i'm pretty sure we've also yeah we're, we've also gotten our sasanu for our shiver akuma so we'll also you know turn that on so here we go shiver akuma or akuma and second stage now look at these m1s pretty sick you know we are definitely a pro at this point and look at this d-spec man pretty nice and you know he's he's still pretty cool and I'm pretty sure once we max it out we can get our six path form for this guy so yeah let's just level it up a little then uh yeah 
Okay, so we leveled up our tail beast a little. And before we continue, guys, by the way, real quick, just hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, though. Shout out to all of these guys as well, because these guys actually just helped me, you know, uh, level up my tail beast, get a million rye over, and just all that good stuff. Alright, so putting our stat points on, I'm just gonna put like, uh, let's put all these guys in here. I meant to do 4,000, my bad. So let's do like 3,000 till it hits the max, and let's put the extra right over here in tie. And there we go. Now, we literally have a Susanna, dude. A Sharingan's Susanna, or Samurai Spirit, whatever you guys want to call it. And we also have a Tail Beast. I know what? Let's go into another stage here. Stage 3. Nope. Stage 2. Okay, apparently we can't go into them. Pretty sure the lower the amount of Tails the Tail Beast has, um, the higher the level requirement for the stages. So, let's just check its level. Okay, 159. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're basically halfway there. If this video gets... Like, let's say 3,000 likes or 5,000 likes, or it just does really well in general, right? Then I will definitely do a part two. So, and if you guys want to see me unlock all my sub abilities, get some more sub abilities, even maybe max on my tail beast, or just get some crazy OP blood lines like Narmaki, and you know, maybe even get Narmaki brain mode, or just literally like going from a pro to a god and shit in that week. Like, if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video.